What's up, guys? Welcome to the Wizards post game show. So the Wizards played the Philadelphia 76ers. They won. Ooh, they won. They needed this one. I think that we lost. I know we lost against them once. I think twice before. This is the last game, so we definitely needed this one because now we hold the tiebreaker if we get a better record. So you know. Anyway, Wizards won 109 to 94 against the Philadelphia 76ers. Definitely a must-win game, a must-need, a, a very needed win, especially after the whole loss to the dog on the Hornets. I had a good feeling about this one. I had a feeling we were going to win this one. This game was actually really fun to watch. Um, first quarter, a lot of back and forth between the Wizards and the 76ers. A lot of back and forth. The second quarter started on like a 10-0 run. And we were able to break away and get, like, a huge lead. I think it was a 20-point lead. So that was really, really good. We had a 20-point lead against them. I was so happy that we won this game. Woo-hoo-hoo. Because, like, I have a cousin that, like, is from Philly and loves the 76ers. And it's been, you know, so happy because they've been on that win streak since they won the Super Bowl. They've been on, like, a seven-game win streak since they won the Super Bowl. He was saying, like, oh, man, we've been undefeated since the Super Bowl. And I'm like, I almost got mad, you know, almost got mad. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to just let this one rock. I'm going to just let this one play out. <laughs> so, yeah, I was mad about that. We, we broke that win streak they had going on. Um, 76ers. Oh, yeah, we played great defense, great offense. Like, everybody was shooting. The ball was moving great. Everybody was eating. I know that, you know, some people are getting tired of that statement, but everybody was eating tonight, so that was that was super good. Um, let's see, let's see. So for the 76ers, Trevor Booker had three points, Amir Johnson with five points, five rebounds. Rashawn Holmes had seven points. He's actually pretty decent, that guy. Um, two rebounds. TJ McConnell didn't have any points, but he had three assists, two rebounds. Marco Bellinelli, this is my first time, I think, seeing Marco Bellinelli in the uh, 76ers uniform because he was so pressed to go be with them. 10.3 rebounds. Uh, J.J. Redick only had six points, which is crazy. He held him six points. And he played for he played for 30 minutes, too. He had four assists, one rebound. Sorry, there was commotion. Anyway, um, what do you call it? The guy, Ben Simmons, he had 16 points, 8 assists, 8 rebounds. Most of Ben Simmons' points really came because of him just getting the getting like rebounds and easy layups, just easy layups and dunks and stuff like that. It wasn't like he was like shooting or doing anything great to get those 16 points. Um, Joel Embiid had 25 points. He had 10 rebounds, 4 assists. He played a really good game, but they weren't really able to stop him at all. Um, Robert Covington had nine points, one assist, two rebounds. The Wizards have played really good defense against the uh, 76ers, aside from Dario Sarge. Like, other than him, like, everybody else, they played good defense on. He ended up having um, 13 points, three assists, and eight rebounds. He had a really good game. Like, he was shooting lights out from three, and they were not able to stop him. Like, he was just shooting, 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 and no one was even guarding him. Most of his three-point attempts were... Open, completely open attempts. Oh, crazy. But anyways, just glad we pulled out that win. Anyway, the Wizards. Um, Jody Meeks had five points, two, two rebounds, one assist. I'm just like kind of over Jody Meeks. He has to have a big game for me to for me to like be interested at this point. Um, Tim Frazier with two points, four assists, three rebounds. Not that bad, you know. Got these assists up. Um, who got some good assists this game. Mike Scott had six points. So his his shooting has not been that good this season. Six points, one assist, two rebounds. Yamahim with two points, um, five rebounds. So Kelly Ray Jr. had a really big game. 19 points, three assists, two rebounds. He had four three-pointers. He made all four of his first field goals. Like he was shooting like 60-something percent, 57% 57, 57 from three. Um, Thomas Adarancy only had seven points, but he had ten assists and seven rebounds. So he's very helpful, very active on the defensive end. Bradley Beal had twenty-four points, eight assists, five rebounds. Gorta had thirteen points, ten assists, no, ten rebounds, two assists. So he had a double double, which is good. 
Um, Markeith Morris, 8 points, 3 assists, 5 rebounds. Otto Porter had 23 points, 3 assists, 7 rebounds. He played really good, like um, Otto Porter, Bradley Beal, but mostly Otto, Kelly, and Sarah Anthony were playing really good on defense. Um, Gortat tried on defense, but he really was no match for Joel Embiid. It's like his strength, his athleticism, his skill, really, but his youth as well, because, like, his youth, it was, he was no match. Gortat was no match. Like, you know, no match for him. Grandpa Gortat was no match for him. Like, yeah, it just wasn't going to work out. Anyway, it was a really good game, really fun to watch. The first quarter was back and forth. The second quarter went on the run. Third quarter, they were able to cut into the lead, which is pretty good. And the fourth quarter as well got the lead down to eight. But, you know, we matched their runs, always answering them. We answered them pretty good. Like, so we end up winning by a good margin of points. Sometimes I wonder, who has to die for – um. For Chris McCullough to get minutes, and also who has to, also who has to die for, like for Jason Smith is like okay, who has to be hurt for you to get minutes, but for, for Chris McCullough it's like who has to die, for you to be able to get minutes, which is crazy. But anyway, I'm so happy that we were able to pull off this win, against these 76ers guys. We just snapped their seven game win streak, and that felt really. good good because 76ers have like they're kind of annoying but they're on a good little run though I think they're gonna be a playoff team this season and if not they're just gonna barely miss it I really feel like they're gonna be a playoff team this season and I'm just glad they're not gonna play us when we're playing like the freaking Celtics or some crap like that and who knows how that's gonna go but um yeah let me see if there's anything I missed yeah overall good game good ball movement um a lot of assists like over 25 assists that was Super good. And to me, Grahams are only really good if, like, Otto Porter plays really well. Like, he went 6 of 7 after going, like, 1 of 4. He got uh, ended up going 10 of 16. So that was good. He was shooting. To me, like, only games are really interesting if he does well because so many people question, like, whether or not he should have got that contract. And, like, Beal always does well. John always does well. Uber, you expect to do well because he's young and developing. So it's like when Porter does well, it's really always good. It makes the games way more entertaining because he shoots so well and he does so much of the little stuff, the dirty work that you are not going to see on the on the score, whatever. Not going to see come up on the score thing. So on the stat sheet, it's so good to see. And um, yeah, I'm going to continue to say that I love the the pairing of Uber and Porter. I think they work really, really well together. I think that like I said, that Uber is like the wild card and Porter is the steady hand. And they really coexist really well together. I hope they keep the two of them because I think the two of them together would work really well. Um, I don't think they need to be moved. If anything, when Keith leaves, we can just move Otto over to the four and have that Uber at the three. I think it's going to work out. Anyways, that is the end of my review. So glad we won this game against the 76ers. Now we're going to have the tiebreaker against them, hopefully. And yeah, I think it's going to be good. Peace, guys. It's your girl, Shay. Oh, that'll turn it off. Bye, guys. Peace, guys. It's great.